Hey there, it's Jen here from jenandkathy.com and this door will not stay shut, but um, I wanted to um, give you a little tour of my sewing room, my sewing room. <laughs> so if you know uh, my story, we actually bought an embroidery machine from my mom and you're gonna get a chuckle out of this. Let me tell you, when we knew we were getting this machine, she, was, she brought it over Thanksgiving and um, so I knew we're starting a new hobby. I'm like, I'm going to be organized. I emptied a drawer and I thought whatever we need, whatever we use, we'll put back in this drawer and we'll keep it contained and whatnot. So little did I know that embroidery is a, a hobby with lots of things that you need to do it right and have a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to share with you um, this space. Uh, it's our makeshift sewing room that used to be our dining room, but fortunately we never actually used our dining room that much. It was um, kind of like a pass-through room, unless we were hosting parties and then this is where we like display all the food or whatever. So anyway, so here's a tour of my sewing room, used to be dining room. Uh, okay, let's see if I can, the best way to do this. All right, so um, here is an overview. <laughs> Here's an overview of uh, the sewing room and I will show you um, some details about it that I absolutely love. Um, so this is my iPhone uh, holder and uh, it turns out it's really fun to do live streams when you're sewing. So the sewing is over there and then I just clip this on and hold my phone while I'm stitching. Um, so we'll get there in a minute. And there's my dog in the living room. <laughs> um, so this cart, we actually happen to have this cart um, as a gift from a friend. And let me tell you how much I love this cart. So I label these drawers with like some of the stuff that we had. Um, so you can see um, like in progress, uh, kits from mom. She gave us some supplies that we need. These are all threads and bobbins that actually don't fit anywhere else right now. Um, tools, tools we go in daily, scissors, rotary cutters, um, this embroidered compass you need, um, that kind of thing. So then, uh, what else? Uh, finished, finished projects. This is where I was keeping my, um, what do you call it? Uh, I started with uh, Christmas ornaments, yes. This is where I kept them until I brought them to work and handed them out. Um, books and CDs and uh, so this is the sewing um, the sewing machine book and also I just throw receipts in there so because I don't know if I'll need them there's, there's a lot of papers and stuff so books CDs stuff that we got with the thing here uh, we also got um, a little toolbox needles and pins oh, rotary blades that's in the wrong place but this is where um, we have all the different needles that we use and I label them like that. <laughs> Stick them in something and label them. This opens, you know, so anyway, not much. I don't go in here a lot. Oh, this big hair clip, it holds um, t-shirts down outside the hoop so that you can actually stitch them more easily. Okay, moving on. These are um, two trays that I'm switching up a little bit. These are like t-shirts and stuff that we're, stuff we have been doing like samples and whatnot. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet exactly. Then of course you need a waste basket right next to your machine. Here it is, the Janome 12,000 that is accessorized to be the Janome 15,000. Janome, Memory Craft Horizon. Um, I have needles. Mom showed me this trick. You put your needle up here with a little note of what it is. This is the one in the machine right now so that I know what needle's there. Um, and then my machine, I'll give you, a, I might do a machine tour, I'm not sure. Those are These are the USB um, drives with the designs we use. And this is the attachment to the machine that is the moving part. So it moves the hoop as it's stitching and the needle stays here. So the hoop moves around. Um, if you've seen my live streams, you know that. 
Um, these are, this is where we keep threads that are um, in project, in current projects. So this is one of my projects. I'm doing a, um, a little elephant guy. This was a, a project for palm trees. And this is a rainbow project that I'm working on. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Um, so that's current projects. And this lamp, I'm so excited to show you this lamp. I just got it and it is wonderful. Let me see if I can show you. So there's four levels of this and it's slender. It fits anywhere. I'm trying to do this through the camera. It fits anywhere. There's four levels of brightness and you can see what a difference it makes in the workspace. Um, this is just a tablecloth. So this is a craft table with a tablecloth on it. This is my little dining room table from Ikea. It's nice and sturdy, by the way. So Ikea makes wonderfully sturdy furniture um, and you need that for an embroidery machine that's vibrating a lot. Um, okay, moving on this lamp. Um, this lamp is just awesome. Um, when I move into a permanent sewing room space, I'm definitely getting a few more of these. Um, if I find the link on Amazon where I got it, I'll post it down below this video. So like I said, this is a craft table, just one that we had. Um, and then we just added these bed risers because honestly, when you're cutting and using the surface, um, it just, it hurts your back if it's too low. So now it's countertop height. It's really nice, um, perfect. So here on this side, we have this, um, let's see, kind of a wine rack. Um, Kathy makes wine, if you don't know. And um, so we have some stabilizers here. This roller is awesome to have on hand for any fabrics that um, need to be rolled. Um, so underneath here is where we have some more stuff. This is where, of course, all the hoops are in this bag. So um, that's really handy to have them right there. This is a uh, cutting uh, cutting tool. It can help you cut blocks, uh, measure things out. Um, now my mom is a quilter and the machine came with this. Uh, we do not, we haven't used it yet. So it's the quilting kit for the, the machine. Um, and this, let me show you, I'm so excited to show you this. This is how we store our threads. And I'll just bring it up to the table here. This is how we're storing our threads. So little did we know how much fun it would be to have all the colors of thread that we could possibly have. So once we started collecting thread, I was like, oh my goodness, we need a way to keep this, keep this organized, easy to find, easy to use. And here, Sulky has these awesome containers for this size spools. So I went ahead and got three of them because we wanted to look at getting every single color we could possibly get. So these are our crayons. <laughs> anyway, it's been so cool um, collecting these. And, and um, one thing that we did, I'll share with you that we made a spreadsheet, well, I guess she made a spreadsheet of all the numbers that we have. So each of these has a number. Each of these has a number. And so if we're at the store and oh my gosh, they have a sale on thread, we can actually pull up the spreadsheet on our phones and see, do we have 1256 already? And um, that helps us to not buy duplicates unless we need another one. Um, it's just been such a big help, like knowing that we're not buying stuff we don't need, which is kind of a big deal for us. Like that's kind of how we try to live. So starting this hobby with all of these things you see, <laughs> it was a little bit shocking, but let me tell you, we're having so much fun. So the last, that's not the last, but anyway, we have another pile of stuff here. This is my small um, rotary cutting board. This is the rotary cutting um, measuring tool with a nice cover that my mom made. This is an empty thread in case we 
overflow the two and these are um, my favorite binders the better binder from staples very sturdy and this is where we have a lot of our um, just things you need to know about what you're stitching now the last piece that I'm gonna share with you we have this like curio cabinet thing and we had some we started buying blanks of course <laughs> so this is where we keep our blanks um, some kitchen stuff over here but you can see we have you know things we want to try um, this is where we put them so we have this nice gray set here this nice gray set of um, towels and whatnot and then down here let me sit down we have some other blanks, just some stuff that we've tried. Um, and here are three baskets. This one has um, scrap, some scrap fabrics and remnants of projects we've done. Um, same here. So we're doing, if we want to test stitch out, which is a big thing, we always test stitch things out first. And then this one has some bottles, bottles of stuff in it that we honestly haven't explored yet <laughs> so those are the three baskets in there and then down here we have um, t-shirts from Joann's a couple of onesies a couple of you're supposed to call them what is it baby body suits that's what it is <laughs> a couple of baby body suits some t-shirts um, some toddler t-shirts here and then of course water soluble stabilizer and different stabilizers um, as well. So that wraps up our tour of the <laughs> makeshift sewing room. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you found some tips. Let me show you. Oh, one thing I love about this is that these trays come out and you can just set it next to your machine and have everything you need. So I have a pair of sewing only scissors. Can you see that? Sewing only. <laughs> this is for fabric and thread only. And then this is for stabilizers and anything else. Um, I have my rotary cutter here. This one is set up for left-handed. I'm left-handed. I've got my pins. Um, seam ripper, very important. This little guy, this seam ripper is the best seam ripper on earth. <laughs> Um, let's see. These are the itty bitty scissors that I can't find where they came from, but they are the absolute best for trimming embroidery threads. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'll show you this other drawer in progress. These are just some things I'm working on right now. I'll bring it over. Let's see. See, these trays are so nice. They can be like project trays. Um, this is a t-shirt, and I was thinking about, I got this little elephant and stitched him out. He's so adorable. He might go on this t-shirt, but what I would really love to do on this t-shirt is I did my first applique. Here is my first applique with some notes and everything, but this is that um, test fabric that I have, and these are the fabrics that go with this project. Here, so um, I think those are the only two projects in here. Yeah, that's the bulldozer applique stitch out thing, but this would be so cute on a t-shirt with um, a name underneath. So that's how I'm trying to stay organized, trying to stay on top of all of these things. Um, I hope this helped you. Where are we at? <laughs> I hope this video helped you and give you some ideas to organize in a small space. This is a pretty small space. So um, anyway, I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll find links to stuff that I mentioned. And um, yeah, so I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you stitch out something that's gorgeous and fun. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> All right, bye.